So welcome to my tutorial on how to use the Behringer audio interface. So what you want to do first is if you're going to use a guitar, click on guitar, audio input 1, and then press create. So there are lots of different types you can see of guitars that you can use with GarageBand. This, very, this interface is very handy for when you want to plug in your guitars demonstration. Plug the guitar into input 1. Should be a light on, but I forgot to plug it into my Mac. So, when you want to create a new track, I'd recommend setting the settings to 120 tempo and then. So, what you do is Click on the red dot for recording. You also press R on the keyboard if you want to. So now you can play your guitar and make sure everything's working. Also have the small orange light on next to the headphones where it says guitar one so your instrument can be heard. If you're listening with headphones on, then press the headphones and if you want to mute your instrument, just press the mute button. Then you can add another, say you want to add some vocals in, using input 2. Get your microphone, go plug it in. Put it into input 2. plug it in you want to change the voice to bright vocals it will sound a lot nicer then then you can change the voice to like experimentals let's put it as narration and let's just have a little sample with this music gk knows subscribe today unboxings comparisons reviews and many more join now so that's what it sounds like. There we go, and say you want to plug in your piano or something, you might want to change your idea. If you don't have a MIDI USB, you can always use the input as well on the piano. So what you do is... So, Unplug it. So when you want to add another audio for the piano, go on here and then just add audio. I've already done that. So I'm going to put it on so you can hear it. Make sure it doesn't sound too bad. So you want to just turn it down. And just see what you can play. And then so you can make it sound better, just shorten it, turn it down so it's below the rest, then have a listen. I'm going to put on a, a loop so it sounds better for uh, listening to it when you're still trying to like, perfect it. Turn it down really low. GK doesn't sound right. We could just go and delete it or it would probably be the better way of doing it because if we just try and split it, it won't sound right. So if we just delete it, it's probably the easier way of doing it. So you don't like your narration, then you can just get rid of the narration. 
and just have your two songs. I hope you found this useful, so thank you for watching.